All right, guys, it's just about midnight, and as promised, Zeus delivered, and he gave us this big slab of halibut. I mean, look at that. That's, up, that's, that's almost up to my knuckles. That's ridiculous. It's huge. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a dry brine again, and I want this to at least go for 12 hours at least. So I'm going to put regular white sugar, uh, some salt, some more of that uh, stinging honey garlic, because this is going to be another honey garlic kind of mixture. Black pepper, salt. Now, one thing I'm also going to mix in is, of course, McCormick's uh, Grillmate Louisiana Seasoning. I want this because flounder is a cousin of halibut, and I know um, flounder tastes good, good Louisiana style, so we're going to try a little bit. We're not going to overpower it with that. So let me get some of this uh, mixed up. I might chop some of this up a little bit, but uh, yeah, get back to it. All right, guys, so we got the halibut cut up right there. Um, another thing that Zeus got me were these nice, thin cedar planks by uh, True Fire Gourmet. Can't wait to use them. Pick these up at HEB, of course. Zeus, great guy. Again, I call him Zeus because I call his son Hercules, so it just makes sense. Uh, what I got here, I got a whole half cup of ionized salt. That's a lot. Uh, I got a full cup of white sugar and then an eighth of a cup of that red hot stinging honey garlic. Mix all that together in there. Also going to add some sea salt. Also going to add some of this McCormick's. But the one thing I think I want to add black pepper, I want to emphasize to you all, do it by smell. I'm not going to sit here and tell you how much of this, how much of that to put in there. Mix up what the main thing you want to mix up and add the other stuff to smell because that's going to translate to taste. Let me mix it up real quick. Constituents, we're just going to mix them up a little bit, wait till it to get good and uniform. But again, guys, like I said, mix things to smell. I don't like the salt and like the sugar and stuff. Yeah, you're not going to smell that. But the other spices, your stuff that's really going to kick you, don't. I never like listening to what instructions say because it's either not going to be enough or it might overpower it. Do it to your own smell. Do it to what you're going to enjoy eating. Once you know what you like, you know, then continue off that. I'm not saying every time you cook it should be an experiment, but I don't, I don't like uh, staying to hard guidelines. Let me get this mixed up some more, then it's going to go on the fish. Go on with the good dog. Real quick, just showing it to y'all. I actually put a little bit more Franks in there because, I did, like I said, I didn't, it didn't have the smell I wanted. So that is a big, thick fish. We're going to be putting a lot of this on there. That one's not as thick, but we're still going to be making sure we get it. Again, this is a dry brine. Uh, hopefully, it'll suck out a lot of the moisture. Uh, white fish like this usually aren't going to have a lot of taste to them. Now, halibut is extremely good fried, uh, so it'll be interesting to have it smoked. I don't think I've ever had it smoked like this. But uh, I really think when we brine it good and long like this, infuse it with some good taste, and then mop it while it's on the smoker, we're going to come out with a you know, pretty good tasting fish. And Zeus and I will enjoy it, and, you know, we'll learn from it. <laughs> That's all we can do. Let me get this stuff slapped on with that dry brine. Okay, I can't tell you all how many times I had to step away because of a sneezing fit uh, putting this stuff on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there it is. It's packed on there good and, good and thick. I don't know, you can't really tell. A lot of it's getting seeped through already. Patted the halibut down before that, so... We'll put this in the fridge, and we'll revisit it in the morning. I got some left over, so I'll sprinkle it on as soon as I wake up. You know, yeah, I mean, that was a, that was dry a second ago. Okay, yeah, put this in the fridge. See y'all in the morning, and I'll update you then. We're going with the good dogs. All right, y'all. As you can see, there's a significant amount of moisture that's been removed from the fish. Um, I'm probably going to try and drain that here in a minute and then apply a little bit more of our dry brine and dump it down the sink. That's a... Uh, I have this mop bottle. All my other cups are in the wash with the logo. So yeah, let me drain this and try and put on a new coat. I still want at least another four hours of this. So I'll show y'all what it looks like when I'm done with this. So, I mean, I put put more on it, but as you can see, it's already getting... Uh, it's already drawing out some of the moisture. And it's disappearing from view. So yeah, we're gonna put that back in the fridge for at least another four hours. It's eight thirty, like three and a half hours at least. I've heard mixed opinions on how long this is gonna take. I think it's a big, meaty, um, very wet piece of fish, so it's gonna take a while. But you know, 
at noon or one o'clock. I'll soak one of these boards, soak two of these boards for about 30 minutes. It's gonna go on there. We'll get up the temp. Um, from what I've read, you're gonna to wanna to smoke this at like 250 instead of 225. But we'll see, we'll play with it and see what it comes up with. We're going with the good dogs. I had a complaint that I'm not showing enough dogs in this episode, so there's one of the good dogs, Chef Baby Gee. Oh, Chef Clander popped out. I'll let them keep sleeping. They love sleeping on the couch. Love, love, love it. All right, we're going with the good dogs. We'll be back later. All right, guys, the Red Dragon's in cleaning mode right now, so we got to stay out the way. We're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this mop. We got some Lee and Perry, some Hosen, some Frank's Red Hot, some of that Louisiana Cajun seasoning from McCormick, honey, horseradish, some stone mustard, and some lemon juice. I'd add some soy sauce, but I don't have any. Got a bunch of cloves of garlic in there too. Let's crush all that up, get it spun up, take that fish out. Remember, we're gonna scrape that uh, brine off that fish, get it nice and relatively clean, and then it's going on the smoker. We got the planks in the water. So yeah, let me get this stuff ready and I'll continue on then. Grill with the good dog. Yeah, and as you can see, we got a little bit of uh, everything in there. About a teaspoon of everything, or a tablespoon rather. Uh, mostly honey though. Everything's mostly honey. Probably got about a half a cup in there. We're gonna mix up everything. We still gotta put some of the dry constituents in like the Franks and the Louisiana seasoning. Mixing it up real good. Might even need more than this. We'll see. Let me see. Smells pretty good though. Probably put a little more honey in. So we added the Franks and the Louisiana seasoning right there. Added a little bit more honey. We're gonna just mix all that up. Get it to be a good mop sauce. I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna take the halibut out and we're gonna see what it looks like, guys. Grilling with the good dog. Okay, so they've just been taken out of the fridge. I have not put any of the mop sauce on them yet. All that stuff, we're gonna scrape off, all of it, but they're looking good. I had to stop. Mr. Robonaut here, so I could actually talk. Keep the honey out, because the last few minutes of the um, smoke, you're gonna actually dump just a bunch of honey onto it and get a nice honey glaze at the end. Um, so once it gets to like 60 degrees, we're gonna, 60 degrees Celsius, uh, like maybe 135 Fahrenheit, that's when we're gonna put the honey back on it. Again, it's the same as the salmon, uh, 63 Celsius, 145 Fahrenheit. Let me get all this stuff ready, and Mr. Robonaut, you can get turned back right, on. There's the fish. You can tell they've been a little more yellowed. A lot of the moisture and hydration's been drawn out of them, thanks to the brine. We're about to throw them on the smoker. We are at 250. That's what we're gonna use. So I'll pop that open. We're gonna put them on the upper rack. That thicker one is gonna go to the front, more heat. Smaller one to the back. We'll put the probes in there too. So let me get that ready. I got the mop sauce, and I'll show you right before we close it. Grilling with the good dogs. All right, they've been mopped. They've been probed. Closing it up. We're gonna check on them every 30 minutes. We're gonna put more of that mop sauce every 30 minutes. Keep an eye on them. Grilling with the good dogs. There's the good dogs. Check on this. Okay, okay, not bad. Let's apply a little bit to it. It still looks pretty damp. We're at 40, 43C. Keep rolling with it. Keep rolling with it. Pot a little bit, put it back down. Grill them with the good dough. All right, guys, we got a little bit of midday showers going on here. It's about at 1.30. It's a few minutes here we are gonna put on some of that honey, and that's gonna be the final thing. And I might actually crank up the temperature to 300 once that honey goes on there, just to make sure that it seals in a good glaze. So, grill with the good dogs. Be back at right, it. guys, you. Chef Cork, and we got the Cousins here with us, Klein Bear. Okay, so this is now almost a temperature, 138, I don't know if you can see it. So we're gonna put just straight honey on it, glaze it on there, kick up the temperature to 300, let it cook for another probably 10 minutes or so. We're along with the good dog. All right, guys, he's just about done. They're sitting at about 150 internal temperature. That's Fahrenheit, see what it is. In the high 70s, yeah, Celsius, so yeah. We're going with good dogs. I'm going to take them out here in a second. We'll try some of them. All right, we got the uh, guest star chefs. The Cousins right here. Y'all saw them a little bit earlier. Talons of the Red Dragon. Guys, this is fantastic. It actually has a little bit of um, spice to it, too. I didn't think I was going to have that much spice in it. 
So pretty interesting taste. I haven't had all of it just yet. We got a uh, Hercules and Zeus. <laughs> he looked up when I said his name. Um, I can't, I'm not going to put him in the video. He doesn't need to go viral. But this, this is fantastic, guys. We're going to let it cool off a little bit more. We got some potatoes in the oven we're going to be taking out. And I'll give you all a once over when everything's on the plate. I don't have it. Where's the logo? There it is. Grilling with the good dogs. Okay, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this episode with the good dogs. We got us some potatoes here. Mmm. That's so good. And I got to say, this, this fish just flakes off perfectly. And you can see right there, you got that perfect crust of honey. It's just fantastic. I'm going to have a little bit. Mmm. That's, that's what you want it to taste like. That's just... I don't throw around the word perfect lightly, but that is damn near close to perfect. Grilling with the good dogs. Guest stars with the Cousins. Another fantastic episode. We are going to enjoy this halibut and potatoes. So, hope you'll have a good evening. Grilling with the good dogs.